It's a situation here at Pee Wee Horse Farm that has many sickened. News 8 has learned that three of the five horses taken from the owner were euthanized. In fact, state animal control says when they warned the owner that his horses needed immediate medical attention, he said, quote, nobody's going to tell me what to do. You're looking at one of two horses struggling to stay alive after being taken from their owner, 75-year-old Apollonio Vittorio of Easton, who was arrested last month. Three other horses were so ill they had to be euthanized. Concerned horse owners and animal lovers familiar with Vittorio's arrest couldn't help but drive by. They looked fat. The ones out there the looked fat. The ones that you saw? Right. We showed these ladies a YouTube clip of Blackie sent in through our Report It feature. Their words changed quickly. His, his hip bones and his ribs and the crap in his tail. He's eating some kind of sticks and stuff. It's not even real. It's nothing. It's weeds. He's eating weeds. They're worried knowing that Vittorio admitted to animal control that he had 115 horses here and 75 were his own. Animal control says since October they were called to Pee Wee Horse Farm a number of times. They told Vittorio how badly a number of these horses needed medical attention and appropriate shelter and he never followed through on making any changes. Is he here? We went to ask Vittorio why he didn't follow through with the recommendations, but one of his workers said he'd be back shortly. He eventually sped right past us, so we called him and left a message. If you could come out, that'd be great. Thank you. He never came outside. The court affidavit has specific examples of what animal control observed when they looked at the horses. Poor condition, emaciated, pus discharge of the left eye, irregular, overgrown teeth, dermatitis, and rain rot, which is a skin infection caused by lack of shelter. Should this man be allowed to have any horses based on this? Probably not. No, he should not. Vittorio will be back in court on March 6, facing six counts of animal cruelty. State animal control says he could spend up to six years behind bars. On the scene in Easton, Aaron Logan, News 8.